Hello dudes and dudettes, welcome back to all the mods 7 to the sky. Hey guys, we have some fun things planned. Last episode we set up this big guy and to be honest, yeah, it was kind of a lacking episode, but we were just re-establishing, hey, that we're back. But today we have exciting plans. We are going to start automating all of the other um, materials. Like over here we have gravel being sifted. And we are going to set this up for sand and dust today. So very, very excited about that. And then we're also going to do a little bit of uh, netherrack uh, auto something. Auto doing. I don't know. Uh, yeah, but we'll be doing that today. So let's get this farty parted. So I figured we'd do it over here in this corner, kind of the opposite side. Uh, and we'd start right here. So we're going to build this up here and we're going to try to have each of these uh they're all going to be fed from a cobble gen tier 5 because we don't really need any more than that um but i would love for all of the sifters to be at the bottom where did i put the sifters we have the hammers did i put the sifters back this was an important step yes okay here they are beautiful Okay, so let's see. We're going to do, well, you know, let's get rid of this guy. We're going to bump it out one, I don't know. I don't actually know. Ideal, well, well, we need something below it, right? Hmm, I don't know, I don't know. Um, we need to start from the, the, the bottom up. So here, and we'll do here, and then this looks, wait, no, it's oh, it's directional. Okay, we don't have to worry too much about it. But that will throw right into here. Very good, man. Okay, and then above this dude, um, hang on a sec. Okay, so it doesn't look as good, but uh, this is the setup. If we want to go ahead and sift dust, as you can see, it should pop up in here soon. Theoretically, oh, this is backwards. Okay. Um, yeah, so these are a little wonky to place. That's okay. Um, yeah, but now that should be good. And if we do this, let's say it got in. Uh, that's good to go as well. We should see, bam, dust here. And if we take one cobblestone, we should see that it goes bam into here. And then this will work. And it will turn it into sand, and then we'll be sifting uh, sand here in this flux sieve. Yes, perfect. Okay, so those two have been um, kind of taken care of a little bit. So all we really need to do now is just we're going to place this guy here. Um, and then because we don't need to run power up to it, which is great, we can just mine it, and we can take items out of there. You say the cobblestone, and we can do this. And we're going to configure this to not be there. Um, we, we might need to run this straight out instead. I don't want it to accidentally put items into the wrong spot. So here we go. That goes down. And then if we do this, these should theoretically start filling up with cobble. Or do we need to put a drawer on top of it? I think we need to put a drawer on top of it. That's okay. That is perfectly okay. Okay, so this guy's here. And then this starts producing that. And then we set this to extract. No. No. I am confoodled. Oh, it's just, it's doing one at a time. Okay, so we throw an upgrade onto it. We do have a gold one that we can, oh wait, let's just upgrade this up, up to, wait, do we have the redstone for it? We do not, we're gonna do a gold one. That is okay. Perfect, so gold here. This should fill up a lot quicker. And then once these are filled and good to go, it should go to the other one. We're not gonna run any speed upgrades on these just yet. Perfect, and then this guy should start filling up, yes. 
Yes, very good. And this is filling up with sand. Yes, and this is filling up with dust. Yes. Okay, so now we need to pull, put some meshes in there. Um, I think we can go ahead and just create some new ones here. I could pull them out, but I don't want to. So here we go. Iron meshes, diamond, and we'll even bump these up to emerald because we have plenty and we get a quest upgrade, very cool. All right, so mesh and a mesh. And yes, this is producing, yes, we are getting the raw uranite as well. Oh man, this is so cool. Oh, this is so good. We're going to probably need to put some speed upgrades on these guys because we have one more uh, going. So it's going to be kind of slow. Um, so yeah, the gold speed upgrades are going to be key. Do I have Do I have the ability to make any more? Let's see. Exm. Oh, I do. One, two, three. One, two, three. Cool. Okay. So we should be able to upgrade all of these guys here. So one for you, one for you, one for you. And then over here, one for you, and one for you. And then we'll put the upgrade on this mesh here. Actually, let's take it off. <laughs> okay, yeah, so we need these guys to catch up. Um, and they'll be producing two at a time, so eventually this will fill up with dust. Yes, but we are automating all of these. Uh, there's nothing in here we need to worry too much about. Um, we are getting more iron here, which is always great. I'm, I'm wondering if we just set up a, like all of our stuff over here and we utilize, um, now, we utilize something, something cool. We'll put stairs there. Yes, look, we are finally building things, making something look uh, presentable. Does it, does it look nice? Mm, that remains to be seen. But does it look presentable? Probably. Probably, probably, probably. Okay, yeah, we can put those there, those there. <laughs> and from the front, yeah, it looks okay. <laughs> we need blocks here. If we want to make it so you can't see through it, yeah, it's going to be a little tough. But it doesn't look half bad. It doesn't look too bad at all. It doesn't look too bad at all. I like it. I'm digging this. Okay, so this is for redstone, skystone dust. Uh, we're gonna need redstone as well. This is for the raw uranite. Uh, iron's really cool and all, but that's really not why we want it. <laughs> so cool, we have uh, sand and uh, dust being sifted here automatically. We don't have to touch this. Uh, now, I actually think we can just go ahead and pump this straight into our system. We don't really have to worry too much about the items here, which is awesome. We'll just need to set all these up over on our storage wall so that they go right into there. Very, very cool. Okay, so I changed this up just a little bit here. I want this so that when this gets backed up with sand, it goes uh, from this frame drawer. So I just moved all these up by one uh, and then had them going into this frame drawer. Uh, and then this guy pulls the items out of the frame drawer and puts them into the flux sieve. So everything's still working great here. Um, this will just let us start to build up a little bit of dust and sand. Uh, and back, like just in case we need to use these for anything, uh, I think it's going to be very helpful going forward. But yeah, uh, these have still been going really well uh very happy and pleased with these guys yeah um oops need that that won't sift <laughs> but uh yeah we're getting uranium zinc coca beans we're getting prismarine shards which are sweet because we do need these um for some like we can make dimensional shards if we wanted to uh, let's see here, but yes, the dimensional cells, like we're all getting that from sifting the, the sand here. So that's going to be great. We'll be able to have wireless power going around uh, eventually, and I'm super excited about it. But yeah, these things are going to be running for a bit, uh, and then once they're 
like completely full, uh, they'll start backing up here and then we'll be able to use the sand, say, to smell glass or the dust to make like, clay and other things. So that'll be sweet. Okay, so now for the second part of our quest today is we're going to be setting up a automatic, um, like, uh, crushed redstone grabber thing, a bobber. Uh, yeah, so it's going to be a little weird. Just bear with me, guys. Um, so we need to be able to... Actually, we're going to have a drawer at the bottom. Um, yeah, this will be where the crushed netherrack goes. Or wait, no, we can just sift it if we wanted to. Okay, yeah, we're going to sift it. We're going to put a chest here. Um, and that will be the output. Very good. Cool. So we need a hammer going into it. We'll have this guy right at the back. Um, so this will be good. And then we need to run from power to it. We can... Uh, I would ideally like to run it underground next to it. I think we can manage this. Oh boy. Oh, that was risky. Whew. Okay, one more. All right. But, you know, you got to risk it for the biscuit sometimes, guys. Okay, so we can come up here. We're going to have to break this guy. That's a bummer. Come here. Good. There we go. And so we can run power to here. How do we power this guy, though? Hmm. I want to make it look good, you know? It's got to look good. But this guy's going to get powered, which is good. Um, hmm. We might try to run it in from the top somehow. Maybe sneak this around the back or something crazy. That is okay. All right. So we need to pull items straight out of the crucible. Or, sorry, the stone barrel. Um, this will be the lava. And then I'm going to do this with you guys on camera. So if you guys want to do it as well, you can. But this is how, basically just how you, you do it. You just work backwards. Um, we might need to set up two of these guys. Uh, I think it'd be cool to have that there. We don't need this here. Um, yeah, let's get another crucible. I have another one, but we need to make another superheating element. Do we have enough? We do. Cool. We can make another superheating element. Very cool. Um, yeah, and then th whoop. this will go below. Same with this side. It, cool, because it will make it symmetrical as well. And then we'll put this guy here and make sure it doesn't connect. Okay, and then the superheating element here. And then we go bang, shebang. Set that to pull out. So it's gonna pull out the lava. So that means the cobblestone has to go in the back. And we can set that up like this. And yeah, so that's already producing lava. So that is the speed at which we will be generating that. Very good. Um, good. So lava's being produced. Okay. Um, yeah, I think this is where we put the redstone in. Okay. This will go here. This will go here. And then we just run an item pipe. Um, yeah, ideally I wouldn't have liked to have it on top, but that will work. Okay, so, and then power. I think we're going to do something unique and run it down like this. That way it just looks even, and then we can, whoops, I need my configurator for that. I mean, if you, if you can't hide it, make it part of the build, you know, you feel me? If you can't hide it, just roll with it. Then we can go like this. That kind of looks cool. I 
I think we definitely need to cover those, the sides. Okay, that didn't pull anything out. And so theoretically, if we take some redstone and we put it here, Yes, we do have netherrack being created. Very cool. And something we could also think about is creating a tank uh, to hold lava. Um, hmm. Basically, move this back. No, we'd have to move it back too. I think we're just gonna have to keep it like this. That way, it won't like burn through redstone really quick. Um, but it'll still produce. Ooh, I almost died. <laughs> okay, so those have been sifting. They've been going here. We just need a mesh, and we are off to the races. Okay, so let's make a mesh. All right, there we go. Uses. Cool, we're up to the emerald meshes. Very good. Bam. So I put this here, and then it will start meshing. Yes, beautiful. And we have gold pieces that we got from it. Very cool. So we did go ahead and automate that. Um, that's actually really exciting. I think, yeah, we can just put blocks here. One, two, three, maybe there as well. I want this to kind of have a, a good look from the front, you know? Okay, I think that should look pretty good. Yeah, it looks pretty good. We have a little bit of sky you can see through there, but yeah, we can change up. I wanna change up these pillars eventually to be a different color, but I do like the, the stone brick here. But yeah, we are now sifting. Ooh, we have netherite scrap. Oh my gosh, do we? Wow, wow, we got our first netherite scrap, guys. That's amazing, That's so cool. Oh my gosh, I am so happy about that. I'm generally like, I'm actually really happy about that. <laughs> I know my voice might sound I'm like, oh my gosh, wow, I'm so happy. But no, like that's amazing. Like now, now we can really do it. Oh, we might need to lock that too. Yeah, let's grab, I'm out, of, I'm out of food. Functional storage, yes, this will lock. This will lock it, beautiful. And then once these are back up, yeah, I'll lock it with the sand. Actually, if I put a bunch of sand in here, I can lock it, yeah. And then it'll just continue to put it in for us. Like so, bam, locked. So only sand can go in there, only dust can go in there, and then it's just gonna put it back in. Very cool. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, we have those automated. If you did enjoy today's video, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe. But this has been Super Turtle, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Take care, peace out, Bye bye